Good morning, I think, <laughs> and, and welcome to this week. Guys and sisters, we, we had some problems this morning. Good morning, Revolution. Good morning, Revolution. Good morning, we Revolution. Had some Good morning. We had some technical problems. Rosanna, hey. Good morning. Good morning, Revolution. Good morning. Scott. When are we going to read that poem by Langston Hughes? We got to read it. It's a wonderful, wonderful. I keep saying that. Next week, I promise, if I don't forget, <laughs> to read the to read Langston's poem. Um, I also like his uh, Lennon's "Walks Around the World." You know, that's a wonderful poem too. Hmm. It ends. I know that Lennon one. walks around the world, the sun sets like a scar. Between the darkness and the dawn, there rises a red star. That, mm -hmm. That's the end of that poem. I, I must have read, read it when I was 11. Okay, but let's get started. Um, uh, it's a, been a hell of a week. Um, uh, Scott, your president doesn't want to resign. President. Huh? <laughs> My president. No, well, I wouldn't right. vote for him. <laughs> so, he doesn't want so, to resign. He says, he says, uh, the unprecedented. He said that the ballot, he's going to throw the ballots out. Yeah. And you know? I wouldn't call it not wanting to resign. I'd call it refusing to, in advance, to, to respect the will of the people. And, you know, um, that's, you know, I've seen scholars say that it's completely unprecedented in the in the history of, you know, of this country for a president to say something like that. Um, it's certainly uh, terrifying. Um, and when you see all everything he's done to interfere with the election to undermine confidence in it, you know, he's he's building a case for for just throwing out the results. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is what, you know, What's the what can be done right now to prevent that from happening? I think that might be a distinction without a difference, uh, uh, Scott. But 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 Rosanna, what do we do um, to? I mean, in the face of uh, this guy. Well, first, Rosanna, do you have a prediction as to what's going to happen on November the third? What's your what's your prediction? Let's do a lightning I, round. Oh my God. I have no prediction. no prediction. Ever since this madness started with Trump, mm. I said, no way, this guy could not get, he's just too stupid. He's just like out there calling us rapists and murderers. I just like, no, there's no way people are going to, and look at me now, you know? So I stopped predicting. I just know that um, I'm gonna be out there to vote. I'm gonna work to get out the vote. I know that uh, I'll be out on the streets. I'll be out on my on my phone calling, protesting, any way, any kind of form. I'll be out there doing something that I need to do to to stop this madness. Okay, that sounds That's my good. Anita, <laughs> right, Anita, it's ten thirty-three, uh, <laughs> Tuesday, November the third, and uh, CNN has a breaking news uh, about the election. What are they going to say? Is that the day after the, uh, you mean the day after election day? No, I guess. I'm on election night, election oh, night. Election night, okay, 10, 10 30 p.m. Well, they won't know, they won't know. They won't be able to say uh, at that point. I think they're, they're predicting a lot of Republicans are being um, urged to vote in person. And in many states, those votes are counted first and then the mail ballots are counted. And the Democrats have really been pushing the mail ballots. So, I think uh, we won't know on the night of uh, November 3rd what is going on exactly. Um, and it will be, you know, we'll have to stand firm and wait, wait, for, the, uh, wait for the definitive uh, answer, um, which uh, will take some fortitude, I think. So you think that uh, Mr., uh, what's his name? The, uh, the mayor's, oh, I'm sorry, the governor Cuomo, Chris Cuomo is gonna say at 1033, Scott, don't hold your breath, folks. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I agree with Anita. Um, uh, it's there's going to be a fight over which ballots can be counted, when they will be counted, how many recounts are allowed, and Trump is going to try and profit from all of that to, mm -hmm. um, you know, to to 
refuse to undermine confidence even further and to, to refuse to leave office. That, that, is, that is my prediction. Um, but the, the way to stop that or the, the best way to fight it right now is what Rosanna said. We, you know, we need to be out there. We need an absolutely massive, overwhelming um, turnout, uh, vote against fascism, vote for democracy, um, to, to show them that the American people reject the Trump regime in their overwhelming majority. That's the, the best way to make it impossible for him to, you know, to stick around. Um, after that, you know, other tactics may be necessary. As if, if, if anybody's guess, but this Supreme Court death of Justice Ginsburg threw a monkey wrench into the whole situation. Uh, because now, if it goes to the Supreme Court, you know, and they have a right, another right wing justice, oh my goodness. You know, Rosanna, you remember the Hanging Chad episode back with yeah. her. <laughs> what what's his name? Um, uh, Bush and uh, and uh, uh, Gore, uh, Al Gore. Oh yeah. And and they threw the election. Uh, Gore conceded, and the Supreme Court handed it to handed it to um, Bush. Bush. Mm -hmm. And the the Supreme Court deciding an election, whichever way it goes, is not democracy it's not how elections work um it's and that's oh, how, how that that's what we need works. to point out huh that's what we need to point out yeah it's not a, it's not a democracy we need to point that very uh key point out right well my prediction is that at 10 33 the vote is going to be so overwhelming in ohio in mm -hmm. pennsylvania in virginia uh, in North Carolina, in Arizona, Nevada, Iowa, Black people, Mexican American, women, uh, LGBTQ are going to turn out in such numbers that Cuomo is going to say, uh, guys, we, 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 we have a breaking news announcement. Uh, we predict that hands down, democracy has won. Mm. But maybe I'm just a dreamer. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just a dreamer. You're not yeah, the only like one. Uh, That's right. You're not the, <laughs> only, the only one, one. as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold fast to dream for a dreams die like is a broken winged bird that <laughs> cannot fly. That's Langston News again. Um, so um, a lot else has been going on this week. There was the verdict uh, with respect to um, uh, Brianna Taylor. That wasn't a verdict. It was the grand jury refused to indict. Right. There was a good uh, article. In, grand... huh? I saw a good article from a Georgetown professor that said he thought it was it was way too light, lenient, and we're just going. You know, we're bending over backwards to make excuses for for police officers' wrongdoing. And this uh, police officer, I think, had a, a record of, of misconduct uh, in a different city before he was hired in Louisville. So he thought at least manslaughter for all three. Uh, but but they really it was an insult. It was a it was an insult to Brianna Taylor and her family and her friends and, and all of us for them to not even charge anyone. Really, no one was charged in her death. It was only uh, a charge that he endangered the neighbors or something like that. So it's a real travesty of justice. And we have to have some real deep reforms of police when we, or, or well, defund, we have to find alternate ways of keeping the peace in society and, uh, and, uh, and gradually defund the police as they become less and less relevant to, to keeping the peace. I read somewhere that a good prosecutor could in, uh, indict a ham sandwich, you know, uh, yeah. that a grand jury, that the, that the, that the conditions, that the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the level of, of precedent, not precedent, but um, the level of evidence that's necessary is not all, I mean, and so in other words, that them, uh, uh, they didn't even try. Mm -hmm. They didn't even try. And uh, we were out protesting. 
yesterday and um, and, and uh, the day before, some of our comrades marched from Brooklyn across the uh, a bridge. Uh, I wasn't there. We were at Union Square tabling, but there was a small demonstration at Union Square. The big one was in Brooklyn. And then, then yesterday, there were three or four marches. And I think it's really, really important to continue to keep the pressure on, to continue to uh, a fight. Um, I just hope that there's not some right wing provocation, Scott. Uh, well, they already shot one. I heard that a policeman got shot in Louisville um, the other night. All of this is just extremely troubling, dangerous. And, and, um, and this, you know, I, I don't think that you could you could find any clearer way to tell um, African Americans that that the rule is still, you know, that they have no rights that um, a white person, a white cop. Uh, is, you know, is, is bound to respect than to, you know, deliberately, publicly in a, in a, in a case where, where the entire nation is looking and the wrongdoing is so egregious um, to, to refuse to even gesture toward justice for Breonna Taylor. It, it, it's mind boggling. And, you know, it's, it's the fact that this is only the, the, the latest in a very long string um, yeah, it needs it needs to stop, um, and, it, and we need to. It's wrapped up in politics too, because the the attorney general of um, Kentucky is a rising star in the Republican Party. Uh, spoke at the convention, and I think um, you know that has played into this as well. It's just one thing after another, and then of course the another thing in in the news this week. But let me say, we need a radical reform of the police. We need to defund them. Um, uh, and, uh, and it's not sensitivity training. That's not going to get it. You know what I mean? The whole thing needs to be reimagined. Community control. Of Community the control. Rosanna, elect, let the people elect a board, control hiring, control firing. Um, let the people run the show because we know what goes on in our communities right i mean well who knows that better than the people in, in, in you know your neighborhood or your ward you know it's it's uh, that kind of uh it's that kind of uh, issue you know i'm i'm um the person that i carry actually in my heart all the time is eula may love she was killed in 1979 by the police. She was trying to stop the gas, the, the, I think it was the gas man from shutting off her gas. And she had a knife and they shot her 22 th times. Mm. And it was the first time that I had really been aware of such, such horrible way to behave by the police. I mean, I it was, you know, I would hear it maybe on sidelines, but just the the horrific way that they killed this mother. Um, and I constantly, and I think we need to question, why do you need to use guns when there are paper, pepper spray, there is the, um, what is that called? That shock thing, what's it called? The taser. The taser. Why do, why do you have to have guns? Another woman just got killed. The, the police officer shot at the dog and he killed her. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I think we need to ask even just those fundamental questions about why do you have to use a gun when you have other sources to maybe, uh, uh, what is that, stabilize the situation or something. And my question when, when uh, Miss uh, Love got shot was, uh, why 22 times? Right. Why? Well, that's just, we need to ask those questions in order to, to have other people ask the same question. Mm -hmm. Why so many times? Why use that method of, of stabilizing the situation? It's not necessary. In the case of Brianna Taylor, it was 30 shots that went into the, the police shot 30 times. 
37. I think was, Amadou Diallo it was 27 or something yeah. like that. You know, I remember. And, if, and, and in police training, um, on average, they spend, I think, seven times as much um, time training in um, combat and weapons than they do on de-escalation. And that's also a problem. There are, there are techniques for de-escalating that have been developed by you know, social workers and psychologists. And, and that has to be part of this you know, as well. And not that, that Brianna Taylor needed to be DS. She was in her bed, you know, she was asleep. But. Exactly. By the way, racial justice was in the news in another way this week. I saw that uh, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Mann, Mr. Mayor Bloomberg uh, uh, decided that he's gonna help pay off the fines of the prisoners who were disenfranchised in Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, felons couldn't vote. And, and then they said that, well, they got rid of that law. And then they said, well, if you want to vote, you got to pay your court fees. <laughs> so it's like a modern day poll tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the Florida legislature is always doing that, it seems to me. Uh, Voting against yeah. what it, you know, what the people want. And so now Bloomberg is going to pay. And I said to myself, um, uh, Anita, I said, OK. But I sure wish the labor movement or somebody had stepped up. I, I know there's a crisis uh, in the economy, and the trade unions ain't got much money. But maybe a GoFundMe campaign? They, you know? they don't need it. I mean, what they have is a wonderful organization called the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition. Uh, hmm. De Desmond Mead, I think, is the head of that. There was a good article about it in the PW, but I'm familiar with it from uh, from Florida, and they're really uh, excellent. They've been collecting money yeah, they also those five million for, dollars. for a year or so, you know, and also just working on on um, getting individual county attorneys to forgive the the fees that are that are owed. So they're really doing some wonderful work there, and I'm sure they're happy to have Mike Bloomberg's millions too, uh, because they need it. But um, but I think I think there are a lot more Florida voters this time than there were uh, in uh, 2018 and in uh, 2016. So we hope it makes a difference. I think it will. Make hope it makes a difference, and it's a broad front, you know. But I show it. I guess this adulation of billionaires is kind of <laughs> they drives me a little bit. The best use of his money. <laughs> huh? What did you say, Rosanna? I said it's the best use of his money. Yeah. <clears throat> well, put true. it to good use. That's true. That's true. Instead of running them the way he was running when he mm -hmm. was, uh, of course, he, you know, he got a lot of guilt on his because he was the one that instituted that uh, broken window policing, shaking down everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a you, you get uh, patted down, thrown up against the wall. You know, up against the wall, MF. That's what they used to do, mm -hmm. shake you down. 20, 30 times some kids, you know, where young men, young women were black, Puerto Rican, up in Harlem, you know, bed in the Bronx. Uh, so he's got to, he's got a lot of a pay payback to do. Well, I think that that just about does it. Um, did, did we forget anything this week? Um, oh, well, we should, um, if we have time, uh, we have a question on, um, uh, reproductive freedom from a reader. And we should also uh, talk a little bit about the voter pledge and the class uh, this Sunday. Okay, well, take your pick because we got five more minutes. It's 11.04. Uh, we started right. at a quarter two. Well, go um, for it. A reader wrote in uh, and asked, um, you know, he uh, took, uh, he's, so he's a, a long time uh, Republican, but kind of attracted by the party, thinking about maybe moving in our direction, um, but took, uh, sort of was opposed to the idea of my body, my choice, and of, of, of reproductive choice on grounds that um, a woman might have a choice, but, you know, the, the child inside of her uh, isn't given one, and, and how is that fair? Um, so, um, Anita, do you have any, uh, any yeah. thoughts on that? Well, I do think it's an extremely important question now because uh, of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death. 
Um, and, and she was the one holding us back from, uh, from repealing uh, Roe. Um, so I think this will really come up in the next in the next couple of years, like seeing what happens with the courts. Um, but I I I I I I sympathize with this question um, because it's it's a very personal decision. And I uh, what Roe said back in '72 was it is that it's a private decision between a woman and uh, her her family and her health um, healthcare providers. Uh, it's a private decision and government shouldn't be involved in saying yes or no. Um, my favorite um, pro-choice uh, slogan is every mother a willing mother and every every parent of any child should be willing to be a parent to that child. I think women should have the choice of planning their, they have many opportunities to get pregnant. They should plan those carefully according to what they want to do. So nobody should be forced to have uh, to carry a pregnancy to turn unwanted. Thanks. Um, any anything to add, uh, Joe or Rosanna? I agree with Anita. I think uh, yeah. it's a personal choice between uh, a woman and her doctor, and the uh, there's a little bit of hypocrisy because the government gets involved on the right and all other kinds of issues with respect to women's bodies uh, and they don't hesitate so they kind of use this as a wedge as a wedge issue yeah. what about the sterilization that's happening in the detention centers mm. Hello. Hello. yeah Hello. Um, yeah this question of reproductive freedom is a is a very broad one um that that uh you know it'd be it'd be easier to swallow some of the anti-choice arguments if the people making them were uh, fighting for, for life and for the dignity of life in, in other spheres. Uh, but it looks to me like an attempt to, um, you know, control and punish uh, women mm -hmm. specifically. And reproductive rights are for, for everybody. And one of the earliest cases that Ruth Bader Ginsburg argued before the Supreme Court was protecting the rights of a man whose wife had died and he was getting her veterans benefits, I think, to stay home and raise their child. So he, she came, went to court to protect, um, you know, men's right to, uh, you know, have a, be, a, be a, a responsible parent um, as well. So everybody I think, has. I, I think also that we have to be mindful of the propaganda that is thrown out there about life in the womb, you know, women, most women, don't have abortions, uh, 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 you know, at seven, eight, nine months, unless there, you know, there's clear picture that the the, the fetus is, uh, or you know, the child is deformed in some, you know, way that uh, that is uh, unavoidable. I guess you know that. Uh, uh, that you know that's just going to be questionable, but that. That rarely happens, or if if at all it happens, and so uh, you know, there's there's the questions about why abortion was held in different in different parts of the month, but uh, you know, most most abortions don't ha happen within the first month. So uh, I think you know we we got to be mindful of the propaganda that makes us think that we're killing because that's not true. Okay. I think that'll have to be the last word. Um, so uh, thank everybody for coming and listening and contributing. Continue to send in your questions, no matter how difficult, we'll continue to try to answer them as best we can. Uh, we have a webinar Friday night, uh, sorry, Sunday night. What time is it, Scott? 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. 8 p.m. Eastern, look on our website. It's gonna be on fascism. The our uh, presenter is Mark Prodine uh, from Washington State. He's written extensively on the issue. Uh, and uh, we also have a uh, hashtag vote against fascism campaign, got a Facebook frame. You can grab it on our website or you can go to Scott's page or my page or Anita's page um, uh, or Rosanna's page and grab it. And if you're a good looking person like all of us are <laughs> take a picture and you can hold up a sign 
and have a little quote, you know, and uh, share the good looks, you know, uh, and the more of us that uh, can do that, the uh, a better. So, same time, same station next week. Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, 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 -bye. 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 Bye,